Welcome back to Underwater Math. We are going to focus on building our skills and understanding of geometry today. We think you will get the hang of it pretty quickly. Come along. Let's start with the most basic of the those categories, points. A point looks like a dot or a filled in circle and shows an exact location. For example, take a look at this point on the number line. It shows the position of 5, because the dot is exactly on the position of the number 5. If we move it over a little bit, now it is in between 5 and 6 and shows the position of 5 and a half. You might find points on a number line, a map, or even at the end of a line or an angle. Next up are the different types of lines. We have lines, line segments, and rays. What's up, Stella? Oh, hey Ray. I actually wasn't talking about you, I was talking about rays, which are a type of line. Yes, I know what rays are. It is my namesake after all. Would you like for me to explain this category? I find myself to be an expert. By all means, take it away. First and foremost, we have the line. A line continues in both directions forever. We show this by putting arrows on either end of the line. Next, we have a line segment. A line segment is just part of a line. It has two endpoints at each end which we show by putting a point at either end of the line. Finally, and most importantly, we have the ray. A ray looks like a line, but it has an endpoint on one side and an arrow on the other side. It continues in one direction forever. Wow! You really are an expert. Thank you for explaining all of those. Ray, I appreciate your help. I bet you are an expert at quadrilaterals too considering you are a four-sided fish. Quadrilaterals are four-sided polygons, two-dimensional, closed shapes with straight sides. They include parallelograms quadrilaterals with two pairs of parallel sides such as a rectangle and a rhombus. A square is also a quadrilateral, a special rectangle and a special rhombus. Lastly, there are trapezoids. They only have one pair of parallel sides. Squares and rectangles have right angles, angles that measure 90 degrees. Don't forget about symmetry. Look at this shell. An object has symmetry if it can be divided into two identical halves. The two parts need to be identical and mirror images of each other. This shell doesn't have a horizontal line of symmetry, but it does have a vertical line of symmetry. It has one line of symmetry. That's right. Congratulations, you're now an expert on all things geometry. Have fun practicing humans.